One of the recent changes that has made a big improvement to salvage and bounty missions is that NPC ships now carry cargo on board more frequently and in much greater quantities. This is a change that began in 3.20 and I'd mostly missed out on this new area of the game being away for most of the summer but we were setting out on board the caterpillar looking for adventure and while we didn't know it yet today would result in quite the haul out there in the rings of Yela. Vlaz was with me on board the Caterpillar as a gunner, but we also had Nitz and Arathorn joining us as well in supporting ships. On arriving at the rings, we'd have a short way as our escort ships made their way here. Bounty targets have become a lot more varied, so there is no telling what exactly you may encounter now during a bounty. As Nitz arrived, it was time to head in. We got a Takani Taurus. Takani Taurus? A C2? A C2? So, stop to the C2. Yeah. Starlifter, yep, I see him. And then, primary. It was shooting me, I think it's an A2. Can't tell. Yep. The main mission target was a hammerhead, and this would be our first priority. That's a hammerhead. And of course, NPC guns pass through shields. That's what was happening in your missile. I wondered why you were seeing the hull impacts from lasers. Yeah, that's been a constant. It doesn't happen with players, fortunately. Just hear that ion is the way. Next would be the Hercules. There were two of them out there for this mission. Uh, yeah. Same. We were taking care to only soft death the ships, that way all of their cargo would remain intact. So with all of the enemy now taken out, we could begin investigating the wrecks for cargo. Nitz was scanning the ships as we moved into position to begin moving cargo. Alright, this one's got 3 SU of Neon, 7 Slam, 29 SU of Widow. That's the one that you just flew by here. So Front door is already open. Really scan the helmet <laughs> it might be broken. That, if it lets me. Ooh, we um emergency lights in here. Yep. I was heading down to the cargo bay to help move items. But I quickly realized I could have parked much closer to the C2. And I'm checking the other C2. I'm just there as well. Oh, okay. I could have come a bit closer actually. As I made my way back to move the ship though, Nitz would begin finding some truly valuable cargo on the second Hercules. Sure. Oh, I see Weevil eggs. I see 32 SU of Weevil eggs. One or two boxes for sure. So that's, that's 6 million right there. Oh my god. Now, the nearby C2 had illegal drugs on board and they are usually incredibly profitable to trade. Maze in particular is extremely good. So we didn't want to leave any of the cargo behind. I'm gonna start pulling those out. Gasping Weevil eggs. But Nitz just continued to find more gasping weevil eggs, and the value of those just dwarfs the value of illegal drugs. He was finding them in 32 SU containers, the largest container there is, so we had to plan our storage ideas around that fact. The, um, the, Another the one. big I'm containers, they can't go in the front compartment, can they? Big containers? No. Yeah, we'll put all the little ones in the front then. Make sure we get all oh, space. Shit. Katie. Katie. What? Two, three. There's four more boxes in here, so we've got eight or nine boxes of gasping weevil eggs, all 32 SU. We should probably go and grab those. Look, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna move up there and grab those because you know that's, that's real money. That that's like that's islands in the South Pacific money right there. 
<laughs> this is about 28 million. Jeez. Right here. Approximately. The thing is, these are the Text kind of paydays that motivate you to go out and do stuff. We were certainly well motivated to go and grab the cargo, hopefully getting away before anyone else showed up. Yeah, it's good to get them on board just because if we have a 30k then they are protected. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I see. Oh, you're closing on my position. And as I got closer, I could already see the bright green containers that Nitz had pulled outside the ship. Slam, and I've got all those containers. over here, so more to it. All right. The 32 SU containers are relatively new, so I wasn't even sure if they would actually fit in the bays of the ship. Wait, I don't think we have enough room for all these. So they will fit, is that right? They will fit lengthways. I believe so. I don't know if they will. They might be too big. Well, maybe not. They might be too big. Uh, it's hard to tell. I think they are jet ever so slightly too wide. I, I think they fit, but they don't sit on the grid. The 32 SU containers look like they would physically fit in the ship, but not snap to the actual cargo grid. This did carry some risk, but it was worth taking for this kind of cargo. Then push them in all the way, they do, they should fit. They you think, if you think it's going to be safe, we can do it. <laughs> Let me close that, because you can get eight on it. You have to put them on first, right? You have to go underneath the catwalk. Right, yeah. But just to be sure, we decided to close up the far side bay doors to see if the containers were pushed forward at all by the doors. Oh, they are closing, they're just very slow. I'm at Seraphim Station, I'm just switching out ships. Yeah, they do fit. They do physically fit, they just don't snap. It was unlikely we could stack items on top of these though, so Arathorn was heading off to bring another cargo ship, a C2, along for the cargo that we couldn't collect. There was a lot more. I mean, there's still more. Oh, there's some in the dark here as well. <laughs> there's some in the shadow I just didn't see. There's some more two SCU ones here. I'm just putting them to the back of the bird because it's foggy in here. The smaller boxes we could use as wedges to keep the large loose containers in place. You damaged it. I actually used two, S two SCU boxes to kind of wedge these into place oh. a And then there's some two SCU boxes of maze. 3.5-ish million sitting right there. 2.4 or something. Just sitting in space. Almost there. Oh, okay. There was so much cargo. And I have... Not, not the big ones, there's two small ones here. I think we've put in as much as we can without stacking things on top of the wrong thing. The front is Plus, the... you room for this guy. The remaining cargo was all have to go on the C2, which was now on the scene. Alright, I'm running down to catch it. Hopefully. I did wonder if the whole sea would be good for this job, but the problem I guess is with that ship illegal cargo is difficult to sell because you cannot land while it has cargo. Are they any good for this kind of thing? No. Obviously you can't sell from them, right? Because like, they can't land yeah. with cargo on them. They can't land, yeah. I take a quick moment to inspect our hull from the catwalk. Yes, we've sustained a little damage. Dang, it is smoke. <laughs> no, I meant in the uh, CT that we just put out. Oh, right, yeah. But now it was time for us to take this cargo and sell it. Maybe here goes this one once we close exterior. I'm going to stay far back, because worst case, they're not on the grid, so if the cat blows up... <laughs> Good point. <laughs> but you look like you're okay. I think it looks like we're okay, yeah. Nitz would be escorting me on this run. Quill 5 or 4? Both Quill 4 and Quill 5 have no questions asked terminals located in the station locker rooms. They don't buy everything, but for illegal drugs and the like, they can be very useful. With the weevil eggs, I have no idea. We'll go, um, we'll go 4 first, and if not, we can jump to 5. Okay. Oh, uh, we 
Well, we are good on fuel, okay. Escort you to far for literal, literal tens of millions of credits of cargo on board. Well, each SU is about 120 days. So 8 times 32 is about 250, uh, 28.1 mil. Oh my god. At this time, credits beyond a certain level become basically meaningless, but with base building shown at Citizen Con over the weekend, we could someday soon see outposts that need upkeep costs to sink our credits into. What this game really, really needs um, is something to sink credits into, right? Pulling into the station, we'd be given an awkward hangar between some of the rings. In fact, the inner ring is running faster than the outer ring. We'd been damaged in the fight, which is why the emergency lights were on, but we could fix that before leaving. Inside the station, we'd be heading for the gallery and then straight for the locker room. And at first glance, these locker rooms seem to have no importance, but at quarter four and quarter five, they house a trade terminal where illegal drugs can be traded. The Gatsby and Weaver legs could not be sold here, however, so we'd need to take them somewhere else. Okay, we can't sell them here. We can sell Sam though, right? We can sell Etam. Maze we can sell. Jeez, 1.69 million for the maze, that's good. We could sell our illegal drugs though, netting us 1.2 million as a nice starting point. <laughs> it's going to have to be I think. We can sell at our core, Welcome I think Devlin is done. The they retrieval will system. take Weevil Eggs. They will, okay. Little, yeah, a little road less traveled. Yes, let's, let's do it. We're in hangar um, 6. Trade info for the most recent patch is hard to come by, but Nitz has had luck selling his Weevil Eggs at scrapyards in the past. Scrapyards are pirate hotspots. Indeed, we have camped them out many times in the past in order to steal cargo. If you find yourself needing to sell to a scrapyard, you should avoid Brio's breakyard on Daymar unless it is a fight or some risk that you are looking for. It is great for action if that is what you want, but if all you want is a safer transaction, choose Samson and Sons on Arcorp's Moon Waller or Devlin Scrap and Salvage on Microtech's Moon Uterp. Traded commodities vary between locations for sure, but the Daymar and Hurston scrapyards are much busier targets for pirates. Before leaving though, I would repair and refuel the ship. Seems you have the jump command. I can't jump. It's your... It's full. Making the final descent to the scrapyard, we had Nitz in our escort ship move on ahead and check for threats. It is much more difficult to spot players hiding in the trash itself, but he could at least look out for signs of recent trouble like wrecks, ships or bodies. No ships, no wreckage. It was time to head in at Sal. At the terminal, the first item listed was Gasping Weevil Eggs, but only 7 SCU. Okay. Puts us up to a total of 1.9 million. But the final item listed was also Gasping Weevil Eggs, and 8 units shown here reference the containers. I can sell another 8. Whoa, okay, no, no, yeah. I can sell the 8 units of the big units. So I am. It's 28.79 million. <laughs> oh my god. I could also sell the slam for 15k, so let's, let's celebrate that as well. 
All in all, we just cleared over 30 million in profits. Split five ways, that would be 6 million each. That was from all of them? Yes, for, ev for everything that we had on board there, we, we made 30 million credits. All that remained was to send each member of our team their cut. Six million credits to you, Arizon. Thank you. The addition of valuable cargo to NPC ships is such a great change. It really pushes the motivation and excitement of taking on contracts more often. Not to mention feeling a more vibrant ecosystem of player piracy and player hauling. With higher profits on the table, you can afford to pay for extra players as security or to help move cargo. I'm really looking forward to exploring this side of the game more in the near future. As always, I want to thank all of you at home for watching and all of our amazing patrons who you can see on the screen right now. These very generous people are what allow us to put out videos several times a week and I just want to thank each and every one of you for continuing to support the channel. Thank you. We will be back with more from Star Citizen very soon. Well, we learned that uh, 32 SU could indefinitely fit on this and uh, we will eggs are awesome. Somebody's going to have a great breakfast.